In this video, we will be attempting to explain the entire Demon Slayer story in under 10 minutes. No time to waste, let's get started. It all started about a thousand years ago, when a young, frail boy was born, who was so sick he could die any moment. The boy was stillborn, with no pulse or breathing. But at the time of his cremation, he started crying for the very first time since his birth. The child suffered from an unknown illness that greatly weakened him and lowered his life expectancy to only 20 years. The doctor treating him gave him a special medicine, having the blue lily flower in it, which saved the boy, providing him great strength, but turned him into something inhuman, a demon that craved human flesh, having no weaknesses but the sunlight. Although the boy was saved, he cursed the bloodline of his own family, causing all the future generations to suffer from the same illness as him. However, the family was instructed by a priest to slay the first demon to save their family from dying out. The sickly boy became the Demon King. Muzan Kabutsuji and the Ubuyashiki family laid the foundation for the Demon Slayer Corps. The Demon Slayer Corps tried to hunt down Muzan over the years, while he was busy injecting his blood into other people and building an army of demons to protect himself. Muzan was on the hunt for the Red Lily Flower, a flower that promised to eradicate his one remaining weakness, making him the most powerful being on Earth. After some time, Muzan comes in contact with a marked demon slayer, Michikatsu Sugikuni, who uses the moon breathing style. Michikatsu wished to become more stronger than his brother. This gave Muzan the perfect opportunity to invite him to the dark side, offering him a long life and great strength. Michikatsu then became the Upper Moon One, known as the Kokushiba. Later, Muzan had his very first near-death experience, thanks to Kokushiba's twin brother, Yurichi Sugukuni. Yurichi was an incredible demon slayer that possessed godly attributes, such that he almost killed the Demon King, too. Although Muzan survived, he was scarred for life due to Yurichi's terrifying strength. Before his death, Yurichi, on request of his dear friend Sumiyoshi Kamado's wife, performed a Hinokami Kagura and also gave the couple his Hanafuda earrings. The Kamado couple was enchanted by his dance and immediately memorized it too. And that's how the great swordman Yurichi is connected to the Kamado family. Some centuries later, we get to see the Kamado family living on top of a hill, the eldest of the siblings being Tanjiro and Nezuko, who are also our protagonists. Tanjiro, being the oldest, takes care of most of the work that required strength, like selling coals in the village. One day when he was coming back, Muzan slaughtered his entire family and unintentionally turned Nezuko into a demon. Tanjiro was horrified, but soon realized that there might be hope for Nezuko. And as he was about to take her to the hospital, he was attacked by Nezuko due to her thirst for human flesh. And at the same time, the water Hashira, Gyu Tomiyoka came. Gyu was adamant about slaying Nezuko, but due to Tanjiro's persistence and Nezuko's control over her urges due to her love and care for him, stopped Guru from killing both. Gyu then takes the Kamado siblings to his master in the previous water Hashira, Orokunaki. Tanjiro trains under him to get stronger enough to take revenge for his family and return Nezuko to normal. Tanjiro trains under him for a year, whereas Nezuko falls into a deep slumber to conserve her energy. Tanjiro then takes part in the Demon Slayer exam to join the Demon Slayer Corps. Tanjiro manages to stay alive in the Demon Forest for seven nights straight and passes the exam. Once the exam is over, Tanjiro gets his Nichiren sword made and embarks on his first mission, carrying Nezuko inside a special box. On his first mission, Tanjiro faces a demon that uses blood demon art and has been kidnapping girls from a village. Tanjiro's next destination is Tokyo, where he first encounters Muzan. Tanjiro notices the familiar scent and follows the Demon King, but is easily fooled by him into thinking that he's a human. Tanjiro gets distracted by a demon while Muzan makes his escape. There, Tanjiro becomes acquainted with Tamiyo and Yushiro, who claim to have been making an antidote that converts demons back into humans. Muzan is reminded of his great fear when he sees Tanjiro's earrings and recalls his past with Yurichi when Muzan almost got killed. Tanjiro gets ambushed by the demons, but successfully defeats them with the help of Tamiyo, Yushiro, and Nezuko. He then departs again with Nezuko for another mission and gets acquainted with the eccentric Zenitsu Agatsumi. Tanjiro and Zenitsu are then directed to a mansion on the hill by a crow for a mission. Tanjiro gets acquainted with the boarhead of the Nosuke during his mission. In the mansion, resides a powerful demon at the rank of Lower Moon 6. Trying to save the two children inside the mansion, Tanjiro and Zenitsu confront the demon and Inosuke tags along. Zenitsu and Inosuke demonstrate their powers and help Tanjiro in defeating the Lower Moon demon. The trio then stay for a short while in the house with the Wisteria family sigil and then embark on a new journey to Mount Nadagumo on the instruction of the Kasuge Crow. Meanwhile, Giyu and Shinobu are also instructed by Kigaya to investigate Mount Nanagumo. The trio comes in contact with the family of a powerful lower moon rank 11 demon, Rui. Zenitsu, using his breath of lightning, fights against Rui's brother, while Inosuke handles his father, using his beast breathing technique and spatial awareness. Rui tries to get his hands on Nezuko to make her join his family and use her against Tanjiro, but at that moment, Tanjiro recalls the Hinokami Kagura dance, shifting his water breathing style to sun breathing style and slashes Rui's neck. However, he is unable to land the killing blow and is saved by Giyu who informs him to leave with Nezuko due to his orders for eliminating all the demons on Mount Nanagumo. The siblings get captured and are presented in front of the Hashiras by the head
head of the Demon Slayer Corps, Kagaya Ubuyashiki. The Hashiras wanted to execute Nezuko, but due to the insistence of Giyu and the former Wada Hashira, the siblings were set free on one condition, that Nezuko be killed immediately when she eats a human. What's more, Tanjiro was also left alive due to him being the only one in the Demon Slayer Corps to have seen the Demon King in person. Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Inosuke then trained with Genya and Kaneo to strengthen their breathing technique. Meanwhile, Musan kills the Lower Moon Demons, leaving only the Rank 7 behind, and offers him his blood to kill Tanjiro. The trio is ordered to go to the Infinite Train, where they come across the Flame Hashira Rengoku. Tanjiro tries to inquire about the Hirokami Kagura, to which Rengoku shares that his father might know something about it. On the train, the Lower Moon Rank 7 Demon is present, and uses a spell to put all the passengers in a never-ending sleep. Tanjiro dreams about his family being alive, making him feel extremely happy. However, he soon realizes that he has to kill himself to break from the spell. Nezuko awakens Tanjiro, who then goes to fight against Enmu, while Rengoku also awakens and keeps the passengers safe. Inosuke joins Tanjiro in fighting against Enmu, who keeps using the sleep spell on Tanjiro, confusing him between dreams and reality. As soon as Enmu is killed, Akaza, the Upper Moon Rank 3, arrives. Tanjiro and Inosuke are unable to do anything against Akaza, and so Rengoku tries to fight against him. Rengoku puts up a great fight, to which he's invited by Akaza to become a demon. Rengoku says that he is a human, and will be a human till his death. Akaza kills Rengoku, and manages to escape at dawn. Akaza returns to Muzan with the news of Kyojuro Rengoku's death, but Muzan is unimpressed by it. A distraught Tanjiro follows Kyojuro's crow to his home, and relays the Hashira's message to his younger brother, Sanjiro Rengoku. Kyojuro's father berates his late son badly, and destroys his records, so that Tanjiro won't get any information about the Hinokami Kagura. Later, his father starts crying upon hearing about Kyojuro's death. Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Inosuke continue their journey with the sound Hashira, Tengen Uzui, who is in search for his missing wives. The trio disguise themselves as girls to continue their investigation in the Red Light District. The Demon Slayers find out that Daki of the Upper Moon Rank 6 is behind the kidnapping and confront her in a battle. The fight with Daki is very important, as it evolved the Kamado siblings and made them much stronger. Tanjiro got a better grip on the Hinokami Kagura, and Nezuko awakened her full demon form to fight against Daki. However, after defeating Daki, her older brother Gyotaro, the Upper Moon Rank 6 awakened, as both siblings shared one body. Fortunately, the demon was killed with the help of the Sound Hashira and Tanjiro. Tanjiro Kamado then travels to Swordsmith Village to get his Nichiren Blade replaced. Tanjiro finds out about the Yurichi Type-0 training doll through the Mist Hashira, and trains with it to the point that it cuts off the doll's head and finds a 300-year-old sword inside it. Hotaru, the Swordsmith, takes a look at the sword and offers to repair it for Tanjiro's use. Meanwhile, Muzan sends the Upper Moon Rank 4 and 5 to destroy the Swordsmith Village. Thankfully, the demons were slain with the help of Nezuko, Tanjiro, Genya, Mitsuri, and Muichiro Tokito. Nezuko attained immunity from the sun, which piqued Muzan's interest, and he shifted his complete attention to devouring Nezuko. The demon slayers realized that they had to become much more powerful to defeat Muzan, so they started the Hashira training period. While the Hashiras were training, Muzan paid a visit to Kagaya and threatened him. Kagaya, in an attempt to completely eradicate Muzan, blew up his house, along with his wife and two daughters. Tamiyo appears and stabs Muzan with a drug that turns demons into humans to weaken him. Unfortunately, the demoness daughter is later killed by Muzan. In the meantime, all the Hashiras, along with the young demon slayers, arrive and corner Muzan. The new upper rank 4, Nakime, helps Muzan in retreating to the Infinity Castle and drags all the Hashiras and demon slayers with her. The Hashiras get completely surrounded by demons there, whereas Shinobu opens a door to a room where the upper moon rank 2 is feasting on several women. Shinobu allows Doma to eat her, just so she can poison him enough to weaken him. This allows Kaneo and Inosuke to successfully kill Doma. Gyu and Tanjiro face off against Akaza, who proves to be a troublesome opponent, but the duo manages to somehow defeat him, while Zenitsu fights against his senior, Kigaku, who became the new upper moon rank 6. The love Hashira and serpent Hashira confront Nakime who proves to be quite hard to take down. Giyu, Tanjiro, and Yushiro provide their assistance in beheading the Upper Moon Rank 4. The Mist Hashira was thrown into a different location and comes across Kokushiba. The fight with Kokushiba doesn't last long, as the Mist Hashira was easily defeated. Genya tries to offer his help and gets both of his arms slashed instead. Fortunately, Gyome, the strongest Hashira, arrives, who puts up a good fight against Kokushiba. Gyome manages to defeat the Upper Rank 1 with the help of the Mist Hashira. Muzan suddenly bursts out of his cocoon of flesh with a new appearance and power to fight against the Demon Slayers. Using his powers, the Demon Lord poisons the Mist Hashira, the Serpent Hashira, Tanjiro, and the other Demon Slayers pretty badly. Both the Hashiras die in each other's arms, but Tanjiro is saved by Yushiro's medicine. While being unconscious from Muzan's attack, Tanjiro dreams about the ancient memories of Yurichi, and learns the 13th form of the Hirokami Kagura. Tanjiro, upon waking up, uses his new learned technique against Muzan, which proves to be quite useful, but still not enough. 
combined with Guillaume, Giyu, Sanami, Zenitsu, and Inosuke's powers, Tanjiro manages to successfully defeat Muzan. However, Muzan transferred all of his remaining blood and cells to Tanjiro, turning him into a demon, saying that if Tanjiro survives, he will be much stronger than Muzan, and that he should carry out the mission to annihilate the Demon Slayer core. Tanjiro awakens from his Demon King form, and he starts attacking the Demon Slayers around him. Kaneo swiftly manages to inject Tanjiro with the medicine that Shinobu and Tomoya created for turning demons into humans. Tanjiro stays resilient, and Muzan is finally defeated for good. Afterward, the Demon Slayer Corps is disbanded for good. Nezuko also turns into a human and lives happily alongside Tanjiro, Zenitsu, and Inosuke in the old Kamado house.